my presentation on the middle three of Mankiw's Den Principles of Economics. Economics is the social science that studies the behavior of individuals, groups, or organizations when they use or manage scarce resources, which have alternate uses to achieve <coughs> ends. Nicholas Mankiw was an American macroeconomist and Harvard economics professor who took the entire study of economics and broke it down into ten simple principles broken down into three categories. How people make decisions, how people interact, and how the economy functions as a whole. The first four principles are in the category of how people make decisions. The next three, how people interact, and the last three are how the economy functions as a whole. I am going to focus on the middle three. Trade is the transfer of ownership of goods from one person to another in exchange for another good or service. Trade exists so that man can specialize in one area of production, allowing them to mass produce at a higher quality, benefiting both parties taking part in the trade. Instead of having to make and grow everything I need myself, I can specialize in building, say furniture, while someone else specializes in growing crops. Then I can trade my furniture for their crops, and we can both benefit from this trade. In a perfect economy, all trades would be this fair, and as Manga would say, make everyone better off. Markets are the way in which buyers connect with sellers. In today's economy, a lot of this is done through online marketplaces such as eBay. When buyers are connected directly to sellers, firms can decide exactly who to hire and what to make. Prices reflect both the value of the good to society and the cost to society of producing that good. The invisible hand of the market is what Adam Smith conceived to describe the self-regulating marketplace. With Adam Smith's invisible hand, there is no need for government intervention in the economy. An economy will change for its own self-interest toward desirable ends, as if it were being guided by an invisible hand. This is also known as laissez fair economics. In a market economy, if one person or one group has more to offer than others in the market, they can gain market power. Their more desirable assets can be used to take control of other resources and other things available in the market. In some cases, if someone has too much power in a market, they can abuse this power and gain total control in which case a single market is not a good way to organize economic activity. Government's involvement in the market can sometimes improve market outcomes, because the invisible hand on its own may fail to allocate the resources efficiently. The government may intervene to promote the well-being of the people and the economy as a whole. Governments can help to regulate the market power of certain groups or people, some would say that in the perfect economy, the government would step in and make sure that no one person had any more economic power than any other in a market. The government can also use various monetary and fiscal policies to control the economy and to regulate the expansion and contraction of the fluctuating economy. As we have been studying, the government has the power to control the expansion and contraction of the economy during times of inflation or depression. The government can raise and lower taxes, buy and sell securities, and do whatever they feel, just in order to improve market outcomes. In these graphs you can see changes in demand and supply that can be caused by government policy to change the market. Overall, Mankiw's 10 principles are a great representation of the basis of economics. And if we look at examples in our everyday lives, and in the economy in which we participate, we will see that trade can definitely make everyone better off. Markets are usually a good way to organize economic activity, and governments can sometimes improve market outcomes. Thank you for watching.